So, as you can see, each time I've like increased. How will you be? This is wrong. We're just always together. A good and a bad thing. Be Every morning after his walk, this boy stalks me. He wants one thing. What do you want? You want Brecky? You want Brecky, don't you? Okay, I'll make your Brecky. I'll make your Brecky. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a little work week in my life. I just had my morning sync meeting. Today I am running a couple refreshes for some of our apps. So my job today is basically to run code, make sure it goes through, run code, make sure it goes through. But I don't have to write any code, so that's, that's nice. If you're new here, hi, I'm Krista. I am 25. I live in Tampa, Florida. I work from home as a data analyst um, and I'm in like healthcare field. So healthcare, finance, insurance kind of stuff and I really love my job so super happy to be here got up this morning and did a just like 15 minute walk on the treadmill just to kind of get my body moving and now I'm gonna make some breakfast because your girl is hungry should be a pretty light work week overall I don't have that many meetings I just have like two or three a day which is not bad sometimes i have days where i can't do any work because i just had meetings all day so pretty pretty light work week we're just refreshing all of our apps right now it's about that time of the year for us so got my eggs and egg whites coming along in here i used to track my macros pretty consistently haven't done it in forever but that's like kind of when i felt my best so i started tracking my macros again yesterday and i think i'm gonna try it for a while I like basically track them Monday through Friday and then chill on the weekends, but going to give it another shot and see if I still like it as much as I used to. Work day is over. I'm not feeling 100%. I don't know what is wrong with me. I feel like I'm always getting sick and I really haven't been like too busy or anything lately, but I just have like a little tickle in my throat. So I don't know, but workday's over. We're gonna go get a couple of groceries. It's like a good and a bad thing being so close to the grocery store because I feel like we just go every single day and like get the food we need for that day and then literally are there every day. But we're about to go get just a few things we need. I'm gonna do some inventory. Should I take a ginger shot? Will that help? Ooh, they expire within the next 20 days, so. Don't want? Don't want what? A ginger shot? It's a shot of ginger, coconut water, lemon juice, and cayenne pepper. It's good for your health. I'm already healthy. I don't need that stuff. <laughs> I feel like the cayenne pepper will burn away the tickle in my throat. For health. So you're staring right at my collection of pills and tablets and vitamins. <sighs> and I don't have any of those, and I would. Oh, it burns. Yeah. All right, let's go this way. Let's do a little grocery haul. I can never resist. Dots. Pretzels, I love the honey mustard flavor. Also, the original is amazing. Some pineapple, bananas, mushrooms, tomatoes, carrots, onion, Caesar salad kit. I eat this like every day for lunch. Will got these peppers. Poblano peppers. Poblano peppers. Chicken. We got two packs of that because it was buy one, get one free. So we'll just freeze one. Some frozen berries, some ground beef, and then a bunch of drinks because I love to have fun drinks. This is my new flavor of the ice drinks that I like. I don't like most of them, but I like this lemonade flavor. And then you guys know I love the grapefruit flavor. I was just watching like an old vlog from like three years ago and it was so funny because I was drinking these, which I think is so funny. And then I got three of, or four of these Alani new 
energy drinks because I like these in the mornings if I'm gonna do a morning workout because they're just like easy. So yeah, that's our little grocery haul. This will probably last us a few days, honestly. I feel better today, like I physically feel fine, but my throat still hurts. And I don't know why, it's like pretty bad, my throat. But I drank one of these yesterday, I'm gonna drink one today. It's like liquid IV, but it has the vitamin C in it, so it's like the immune support version. I was trying to run like a long query last night throughout the night. Like sometimes if you start them late at night, they'll be done by the morning if it's a really big query. But my computer did like a forced restart at some point last night, so my query didn't finish. So I need to see basically how far through it got and then I can restart it like at the point that it got to. I don't have to redo the whole thing. It's probably, it probably got about halfway through. So I'll just run the second half of the query today. That's kind of what I'm doing. We have our stand up meeting in an hour. I was supposed to go to Orange Theory this morning, but I did move it to Friday just because I don't want to push it. And I feel like I would barely be able to breathe. Okay, so it looks like the code did finish running last night before it shut off, so that's good. So now that that's done, I can like refresh our dashboards today and hope for the best. I definitely spoke too soon about not feeling bad this morning. I don't know what is wrong with me. I didn't have a coffee today, so I'm using my decaf pods that I don't use that often, but they do come in handy because I was just kind of craving like something sweet. I made a little decaf latte. How's your day going, babe? It's going pretty well, I've been pretty productive. Um, got my blood work done. So I'm just excited to hear how healthy of a boy I am. <laughs> I was on the phone with Crystal like the other day, yesterday or sometime recently, and Will was just working in the background. She's like, you guys spend 24 hours a day together? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> We're just always together. I love it. I was saying we love it. We love it. <laughs> I've gotten Will hooked on Grey's Anatomy. I'm so excited. There's so many episodes I can't wait to experience with him because it's his first time experiencing them. So we're on season two. And at first he didn't want to watch it. And like now he's hooked. I think it's the best show I've ever seen. That's how it starts. Like he's like, ugh, Grey's Anatomy. And then now he's like, I fell asleep last night and he watched like three episodes without me. I was still gonna wake you up and be like, babe, this is the best show I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still not feeling great. I'm gonna skip the gym today again, which makes me sad, but like, I don't know, I just need, I'm listening to my body, so I'm gonna stay in, maybe do a face mask, watch Grey's Anatomy, probably go to the dog park, just kind of chill. But work day's over, productive work day. Got some apps refreshed and I'm done with those, so. That's good. We're gonna go on a little walk to the park. I'm gonna listen to like a podcast or something. I'm gonna put on this Bondi Sands clay mask. My skin hasn't been great lately. I don't really know. I feel like I break out Oh, it's cold. After my period, weirdly enough, like the end to after that time, I'm breaking out. But it could also be so many other things as well, you know, like diet. I feel like I'm eating decently. I don't know, it's so hard to pinpoint it really. But I definitely break out like at least once a month. I feel like I don't do self-care nights anymore. I used to be really good about doing them once a week. When I say self-care night, I mean like the full shebang, like face mask, self-tan. I haven't had to self-tan since we moved to Florida. I'm wearing like SPF 30 every time I go outside all over my body, but I still am getting some color. So I haven't really had to self-tan. Maybe I'll put some on tonight. I got this sent to me and it's a mousse and i've never used a tanning mousse so i kind of want to try it maybe we'll do this tonight um and it's also in the shade medium which i usually only buy darker extra dark so i feel like this could be just a good like glaze over the skin kind of 
Who knows, maybe it's super dark, I don't know. I'm gonna let this dry up, do its thing, and while it's doing that, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. It's eight o'clock, so I'm just gonna clean up, relax, and then we'll take a nice self-care shower. I'm in bed, nice and clean. I feel so good, I did like a full body shave. I've got a bunch of oil in my hair, and I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. Will went to go get me some soup because he's the best and I have a pounding headache and we're probably just gonna sit and watch Grey's Anatomy the rest of the night. We're on the like bomb scare episode where the paramedic like puts her hand in the body cavity and there's a bomb and the Meredith, um, I'm sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> that was in Grey's Anatomy but I am waiting for him to get back because he has no idea that is happening in this episode. I do want to apologize. I haven't edited any of these clips yet from this vlog. I just have a feeling it's a little boring. So I do want to apologize for that. I just haven't really been feeling like myself this week. Um, I really don't know why. I think it's because I'm not feeling great, like I've said a million times. But I just haven't been motivated on top of that. Um, maybe it's because I have like no plans this week really besides just work. But then when I have no plans, I like to exercise and I haven't been able to. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like not feeling like myself in my in my body and my skin. And I just don't feel like myself. So I'm sorry if this vlog is kind of off. I'm just kind of having an off week. Um, my hope and my plan is to turn it around tomorrow. I'm hoping I'll feel good and I can kind of have a more of a productive day tomorrow. That's the hope. And I know you guys understand, I am so thankful for this community. I've been trying to like also make TikToks, but I just enjoy YouTube so much more. So, but I have had a lot of you guys like DM me and stuff, tell me that you have been watching for a while. And that actually means so much to me because I can tell that I'm actually like starting to connect with people, I guess. For a long time, it just felt like this was just like my personal little journal and no one was watching. But like now I'm starting to feel like we have a little community and I love that but yeah I know you guys get it we all have like off weeks and I am definitely having one hopefully tomorrow we can get up maybe and turn things around for ourselves <laughs> so much better today so I'm actually gonna go to the gym with Will get in like a little shoulder and chest workout and then yeah I think I'm gonna join the gym today so no more excuses we are gonna be members now little post-workout this is protein banana frozen berries almond milk oh and a little bit of peanut butter nice and simple but super good the workout was so good Felt good to be back in the gym, so. I do have to say though, I just like don't understand some people. I don't understand how some people are raised. I don't understand how people can just be bad people. I just like literally do not get it. It makes me so mad. Like Will lost his credit card and we didn't realize it. I guess it fell out of his pocket or something. We didn't realize it until he just got a notification of a charge at Publix. And it's just like, so he's like, we didn't go to Publix. He's like searching through his wallet. He couldn't find the card, so he dropped it somewhere. That just makes me so mad. Like, if I find a card dropped on the ground, I usually, like, I'll either just, like, cut it up and throw it away so that person doesn't have to worry about someone stealing it, or sometimes I've even, like, tracked them down on Facebook or something. I mean, I get if you don't want to go through all that trouble, throw it away. Like, chop it up and throw it away so that that person doesn't get robbed. I just, like, I hate bad people. Why do they exist? And that is, like, a quarter. Like, this smidgenest little bad thing that people do in this world i know there's so much worse out there and it just like baffles me i just cannot who like how were you raised it's just wrong like to be so cruel to other people that you don't even know in an ideal world i would walk towards theory 
to get in some like morning steps but I'll be honest an 8 a.m. workout is pushing it for me I like roll out of bed at 7 35 and get dressed and jump in the car so I don't know I'm working on it I'm pretty proud of myself this is two weeks now that I've been doing the 8 a.m. orange theories which I'm usually really not a morning workout person like at all my throat is still bothering me a bit so I'm a little worried like because there's a lot of running in orange theory I might have to take it slow today because I don't feel great but like I feel fine just besides my throat so I don't know it's super frustrating I feel like I've had a really really chill week as you guys have seen like I've we've been in bed by like 9 30 every night I've been eating good this week I just I don't know what's up I've said it before but getting out of bed is the hardest part like I already feel so good now that I'm like on the way I'm getting a little bit hype but getting out of bed is definitely the hardest part <sighs> I always miss this turn. I'm excited to see who the coach is today because it's supposed to be Josh, I think, but I think he's out of town this week. So we're gonna have a sub, so. That kicked my butt. I actually thought I was gonna be sick. Like when I got off the treadmill, I had to go to the bathroom and like brace myself because I thought I was gonna throw up. TMI, but just being real, just being real. But yeah, that was a really great workout. I can tell that I'm just like getting better at it. Like I, and much more of a strength girl like you guys know I for the most part like my workouts in the past have been lifting weights going to the gym squat bench deadlift like that kind of stuff so the reason I wanted to join like some kind of workout class like this is to get better with endurance and running and more like hit type stuff I guess so I mean the first time I did this I got no splat points which splat points are like if you don't know Basically, it measures your heart rate, and when your heart rate is above a certain amount, you start getting points. And so the first time, my heart rate never reached like that threshold to start gaining points. But yeah, I'll show you guys when I'm not driving. But I have genuinely gotten better and increased the amount of time and points that my heart is like in that burn zone. So today I got eight, I think, which if might not be a lot to some people, but like to me, that's a big jump so yeah I can tell that I'm getting better and I'm just feeling good about that and also I like that they push me like if I wasn't in a workout class I would not push myself that hard I just know myself and it's hard for me to push when I feel like I'm dying but when I'm in a class I just feel like I have to keep going I also like when I'm on the weightlifting side they always come up to me almost every single time and they're like that weight looks like you can go up and wait which is another thing that I'm not great at doing to myself. Like I'll take the easy way out and I'll do, you know, eight pound lateral raises when I could be doing 15. She literally came up to me today and was like, how's that weight feel? And I was like, it's, it's light. And she was like, all right, you can double that. And I was like, shit, but it makes you feel good. You know, like they recognize your strength and they push you. Big fan, really hard for me to get there in the morning, but once I'm there, I'm always happy. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, finally wash this hair finally you guys I've needed to wash it all week but it's so hard for me to justify washing it when I know I'm just gonna get sweaty the next day like I thought about washing it last night but I was like why I'm just gonna wake up and go to orange theory and sweat but we finally can wash it because I'm gonna take a break I'm not gonna work out this weekend because I am exhausted little Caesar salad action for lunch this is what I was talking about earlier with my orange theory stuff the orange zone is like the supposed to be like the fat burning zone. So as you can see, each time I've like increased until nine today, which that is definitely my highest. Excuse the appearance, the acne cream and all, but I was talking to you guys last night about how Will's credit card got used at Walmart or wherever, Publix and Walmart. And I just went on my credit card to make a payment and saw that yesterday my card got used at Walmart for $300. But the weird thing is I still have my card in my wallet. Super weird, definitely have not been to Walmart anytime recently. So got that disputed, have a new card coming, but super weird. Like both of us having our cards used at Walmart and yeah. And he didn't have his though, like his definitely fell out of his wallet or something, but I have mine, so. Super weird, people suck, but. We got it taken care of. I'm gonna eat at my company Amex. Do you feel robbed? Do you feel violated? 
Even worse, maybe. The shareholders have been robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Live update from bed. So it's about 6.30. Now I've been done with work for like an hour, just kind of decompressing and hanging out in the bed on top of my made bed. Me and Will were just chit-chatting, kind of trying to decide what we wanted to do tonight. Like, do we want to go hang out with our friends? Do we want to, I don't know, do literally anything? And we both kind of come to the conclusion, I think we just want to chill at home tonight. We'll see like if something comes up, if someone texts us or something, I could see us changing our mind. But as of right now, we have no plans, which is honestly kind of exciting to me. As you can see, as I'm like literally cocooned in my bed. I feel like I haven't had a night here yet to just do nothing and stay in. So maybe we'll go on a little walk later or something. I kinda wanna go walk Bayshore, that could be fun like when the sun is setting, like in an hour or so. But I just kinda wanna have a little wholesome Friday night because we do have plans for the rest of the weekend. We're gonna do a beach day tomorrow and Sunday we're doing a big group brunch with our friends here. So I'm watching Love Island. I have been so behind on Love Island. I'm only on episode two. Mm -hmm. 